All right, so the purpose of this video is to be a concise uh, way of showing you how to remove and replace a hub on a golf cart. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get you some gloves. You're going to want to remove your, your wheel cover or your cap. You're going to want to loosen your lug nuts. You're going to want to jack your cart up and then take the lug nuts off. Then remove the tire. Once you remove the tire, you're going to have a cotter pin, a castle nut, a washer, and of course the hub. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the cotter pin. In this case, I used you're going to use probably some pliers and a uh, a flat tip screwdriver. And you're going to loosen the castle nut. And you're going to take off the washer, and then you're going to remove, making sure the parking brake's not set. You're going to remove the hub. Now in this case, what we have is we have a stripped hub. So what's happened is this drive shaft has a male spline gear, and the hub has a female spline gear. And what happens is the hub, the spline gear in there, gets worn out. And so what will happen is, is you'll give the, the golf cart gas, and the, this part will spin, but because the, the gear in here is worn out, the teeth in here are worn out, the actual wheel won't spin. So what you'll find is you'll, you'll try to use your cart, and you'll hear the motor running. You'll, you'll hear spinning, but your tire won't move. So if you remove your cover, your cap, and you look, you'll see the, you'll see the castle nut and everything spinning, but your tire won't. If you have that problem you most likely need a new hub because it's stripped out. So um, my understanding is from 82 and up, they all use the same kind of hub. So they're not particularly hard to find. They run about 40 to 60 bucks. And that's about it. You know, the installation is pretty much reverse. I would probably put some grease on the, on the gear. You'd put that on. You'd put on your washer. You'd put on your castle nut. You'd put in your cotter pin. You'd make sure that you bend the ends outward so you'd slip this in here you'd slip that in there and then you'd using a pliers you'd bend these pieces out you put your tire back on you put your lug nuts back on you drop your cart you tighten your lug nuts and you're done thanks enjoy